The annual People's Choice Awards tends to stand out from other ceremonies at this time of the year. And that's because it's the public who get to vote. And boy, did they choose. Crystal trophies were handed out in 64 categories on Wednesday night. But the star of the night was TV talk show host Ellen DeGeneres. Here's why. Fans ready to greet celebrities. And nominees posing on the red carpet. Everybody was ready for the People's Choice Awards, when the fans get to pick their favorites in film, TV and music. There's no question who's at the top of that list. Ellen DeGeneres became the most decorated artist in People's Choice Awards history. She now has 20 after winning this year for favorite daytime TV host, favorite comedic collaboration and favorite animated movie voice for Finding Dory. The only thing that would make me happier, and not, not a lot happier, because this makes me happy, but if it was voted on by animals, because I love animals. Kevin Hart's acceptance speech for favorite comedic movie actor singled out a fellow entertainer. This one goes to all of the co-stars that I've had except The Rock, because he hasn't helped me. You've actually lessened my talent. Sofia Vergara won favorite comedic TV actress and spoke about diversity. My career has changed my life. It has opened so many doors for other Latin actors, and we need so much more doors to be open. But I am thankful. Please keep giving us opportunities because we will not disappoint you. In the music categories, Justin Timberlake accepted awards for favorite male artist and favorite song for Can't Stop the Feeling. Blake Shelton won favorite male country artist and favorite album for If I'm Honest. The evening's final award for favorite movie icon went to Johnny Depp, who gave a heartfelt thank you speech after his divorce was finalized last week. I came here for, um, for you, the people, who um, through whatever good times or bad, you know, have stood by me. Unlike other award shows, the fans decide who wins the People's Choice Awards. And it's the fans who get the thanks. I want, to, I want to say thank you to the people. Well, film critic Jason Solomons joins me now from London to talk some more about the results. Hi, Jason. Welcome to Showcase. Hi, Vanessa. Um, so we saw a list of the winners there. Tell us a bit more about what happened last night. Well, absolutely. The People's Choice Award has been going on for, for quite some time now. This is the 43rd year they've been having them. And obviously, the way the public votes for their favourites um, has changed. In the, in the, they, used to, they used to write in, you know, with, with old-fashioned letters. Remember them? Uh, and now, of course, they, it, it's done on, on, uh, on internet voting, on email, uh, etc. So you get a, a kind of vast kind of uh, sway the voters, much more than you get for, say, the Oscars or the Golden Globes, who only have 90 members at uh, the Oscars. Oscars only have 7,000 and the BAFTAs here in the UK have 6,000 members. This is a much more sort of populist swell uh, of, a, of a look at the entertainment industry. So, you, of course, you're going to get very different winners. You've also got 64 categories here. So, you go from everything from, like, the best joke ever told on television to the best, you know, group. And, it, and actually, what's interesting is that it's not the best, it's favourite. So, you're really getting uh, what, what people love out of this. So, you get a much more popular kind of spread of, uh, of winners and... And, and nominees and, and celebrities as well. What's interesting to me is that you always get the celebrities showing up. There's so many award ceremonies this time of the year that people kind of are on tenterhooks to find out, you know, will their big winner even show up? But here you get everyone from Tom Hanks to Fifth Harmony showing up on, on one stage. It kind of is the it's kind of the most bizarre night of the year if you if you if you think about it. From from Johnny Depp to, to you know to a, to a YouTube star that Johnny Depp uh, has probably never heard of. Me too. <laughs> um, yeah, you talked about the casual nature of it, but obviously something resonates with the stars, you know, that they want to show up. Do you think it's because it's the people that choose and not, you know, in a panel of judges? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it doesn't mean that the public has got any, you know, any more right or less right to, to, to vote for their favourite stars. And indeed, you know, you get to see uh, things like uh, I don't know, the big winners on the night for me were the, were the, the Ryan Reynolds Blake Lively household. Ryan Reynolds, who won for best actor, favourite actor, uh, action actor, uh, and his film Deadpool, which is a kind of superhero movie. Uh, and those films, they, they don't get a look in at the Oscars and the BAFTAs. And people are getting a bit fed up with the Oscars and the BAFTAs for 
not including those popular choices, those films that do take 30, 40, 50 million at the UK box office and, uh, you know, and, and seven times that at the Hollywood box office. So, uh, you know, there's getting a groundswell in this new era of, of internet era of, uh, I suppose, of what you would call populism or you would call democracy in some ways, that the elite judging panels that sit in, uh, over the BAFTAs and the Oscars are perhaps out of touch to, in, in some way. They, they don't kind of understand how much people love uh, and, and that's why I say the word favourite is important here. That people love their stars and they love the characters they play. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres, who you mentioned earlier, they're winning for the twenty-something time at the People's Choice Award. You know, she her voicing in Finding Dory was popular. Her chat show is popular. Her character in Finding Dory uh, is popular and has been with another generation because she was popular already when Finding Nemo was out ten years previously. So th y what you get is a kind of love here rather than any artistic judgment and. You know, uh, you know, if you're an actor or a producer, what you really want to tap into is that love. I mean, artistic judgment can only get you so far. It doesn't put bums on seats or votes on computers. Jason Solomon's in London. Thank you very much for joining us.